Hello and welcome. Today we are going to learn Google Analytics for Android. So in this video, we will learn three important points, basics of Google Analytics for Android. And we will be using Firebase SDK here, which is Firebase Analytics. Second is the deb debugging events for testing. So that whenever you create your own custom events for Google Analytics, you can debug those events and test it in a console dashboard of Google Analytics. And third is I'm going to show you how you can implement in production project. I'm going to show you my own example how I implemented Google Analytics in my own production project of Android. So these are the three important points which we will be learning in today's video. So let's get started. So first we have to create a blank Android app project. Here I have created a empty Android app project which shows just a hello text, a simple basic project. Step 1 of adding Google Analytics into your Android application is very simple. First you have to add dependencies. Now there are two methods to add dependency. One is the automatic method in which you have to go to the tools. There is an option of Firebase. Click on the Firebase option. And then there is an option for Google Analytics. And click, uh, click on get started with Google Analytics. You have to connect your Firebase account and then add SDK. This is, this is the very automatic method in which each and every dependencies will automatically added into your Android application project. But I am going to show you a manual way of adding Google Analytics. So when adding Google Analytics, we are using Firebase Analytics. So Firebase Analytics and Google Analytics both are kind of same. The only thing is to use Google Analytics, you have to use Firebase SDK, which is Firebase Analytics. And Firebase SDK will collect all the information data and submit it to Google Analytics server. That is how you collect Google Analytics data in your Android application using Firebase SDK. To add Google Analytics into your Android application, open the Gradle build file on project level. And then inside the plugin section, add the Google as Services plugin. And make sure you apply false. And then next step is to open the Gradle build file on the module level of your app. Add the Google services uh, plugin ID on the top of the file under the plugin section. Scroll down below and add the dependencies. You can use the latest version for the Firebase dependencies. Perform the Gradle sync. Once the Gradle synchronization is complete, now the second step is to get the most important thing that is the Google services.json file. We have added the dependencies required for uh, Google Analytics or Firebase Analytics. Now the next step is to get the most important thing that is Google uh, services.json file. Now to get the Google services.json file, you have to go to your Firebase admin panel, go to your project and then click on this add button. Inside this add button, you will see there are multiple options, so iOS, Android, Web, Unity, Flutter, etc, etc. Select Android. Now here you have to add the details of your Android application. First is the package name. And then add the nickname of your Android app. You can also add the signing certificate SHA1 which is optional. Next is click on register app. Once your app is registered, you will get option to download the Google services.json file. Once you have downloaded the file, now next is to copy that file into your project directory. Now how to get the project directory? In Open your Android Studio. In the uh, top left corner, you will see there is a drop down option. Click on project. And uh, after clicking, click, clicking on project, you will see entire project directory. Inside this project directory, you have to find the module folder. This is the module folder. Inside this module folder, you have to uh, copy paste this file google services.json which we have downloaded from the console dashboard here we have pl placed google services.json file inside the app module folder which is inside the project folder after adding this file you can click on the build button to check if everything is all right or not if everything is all right then we will successfully finish the build of the android app build is successful which means we have successfully added the analytics now coming back to the dashboard of Firebase Analytics, here yeah, after downloading the Google services.json file, you can click next and then uh, click next and then uh, in final step, you can proceed to continue to console. 
In this way, you have successfully registered your Android app in Firebase console. Now let's move on to the next step. So moving forward, the next step is to initialize the uh, Firebase Analytics SDK variables. On top of the file, declare Firebase Analytics variable. Scroll down to onCreate function and in here, obtain the Firebase Analytics instance by uh, declaring the variable and then add Firebase.analytics. In this way, we will get the analytics uh, instance into Firebase Analytics variable. And then you can debug the application and run it. This is just the basics of how to add analytics in your application. So moving forward, let's create a Google Analytics event. So here I have created a simple function with a Google, a Google Analytics custom event. Basic format is very simple. You have to take the variable, create, use the log event function to create an event name. And if you want, you can add a various parameters such as ID, name, etc, etc, etc. So this is how you can, you can create a custom event. In case if you don't want any parameter, then you can always remove it and then add a curly bracket as a null. This will create a null parameter and uh, it looks simple, one line say, sentence. So this is how you can create simple basic Google Analytics log event. Now to trigger this event, I will uh, copy this uh, function name and add it uh, after uh, on create. In this way, whenever an uh, application is uh, launched, this uh, analytics event will get uh, triggered and it will be recorded in the backend. Now let's add the name of for this event like app underscore start underscore event. And you can add any the, the, uh, parameter like demo ID and uh, demo name. In this way, we can identify this in the dashboard. Now let's understand how to debug the analytics event. So when we create Google Analytics custom event, we don't want it to be shown in a production Google Analytics dashboard. Now to prevent this event from going into the production, we use a debug method to debug this event so that we can safely know that this event works. Now how to debug any Google Analytics event. For Android application, you have to first open the console. And inside console, uh, add this uh, one spec command adb shell set prop debug firebase analytics app. Uh, remember to add dots in between and then add uh, your own app package ID. In this way, whichever events your Android app creates, those events will be marked as a debug event according to Google Analytics SDK and uh, according to analytics servers also. So run this uh, adb shell command in the terminal. And after running this command, open the Android app in your Android, Android emulator. After opening it, now next step is to open the Google Firebase console. Inside the Firebase console, there is a debug view, which you can, you can see by going to the Firebase uh, website console dashboard. On the left so the corner, go uh, scroll down to the analytics uh, section. Inside this analytics section, there is a debug view. Click on the debug view. As soon as you click on the debug view, you can see uh, our uh, debug events are visible here. Inside the debug view. We have our custom uh, analytics event app start underscore event. And we can also see its property demo ID, item ID and demo name. So this is how you debug the analytics event safely without polluting your production uh, analytics uh, data. And there is a lot you can see like the screen view and other uh, parameters when you debug the events of Google Analytics. So basically this is how you do the de debugging. Now let's understand how you can use Google Analytics in the production. So I have built an Android app na named uh, Notes on Screen and a link up to it is given in, in description below. But in that app I have used Google An Analytics to get the insights of how user use the app. So I will show you how Google Analytics I have implemented in my own application to collect the insights. There are multiple ways you can get, get creative uh, whichever way suits for you. But this is how I have implemented a Google Analytics in production of my Android application. Now let's look at the source code. So the way I have added Google Analytics is first create an app view view model here. And inside app view model I have created the Google Analytics instance. 
in google analytics there is one standard uh, event which is screen view event if you want you can also override it and create your own custom screen view event here i have done the, the same i have created my own custom screen view event but the format is same same in the start i have added the event name and below there are parameters of that event so i have created created a function which will log a screen view and whichever screen name is passed to this function will get recorded in the analytics next function i have created is the log event function which simply will take event name and log that event and all of this is inside a app view model now this app view model is called in jetpack compose and through this app view model i collect the analytics so for example when user opens a note analytics event to open note is recorded one more important thing to note here is i have created a, a standard constants here these constants i have wrote on the top of the app view model file so that i can use this constant universally all over the app these are basically event names for me it is easy to understand that's why i have wrote in the, this way and same way when user deletes the node, separate analytic event name analytics delete node is recorded and sent to the Google Analytics server. Now when I open my own Google Analytics dashboard, I can actually read the event name and based on this event name, I can understand the user behavior, how user interact with my Android app and make decisions on how to improve the Android app. Now you can do the same because it is very powerful to understand and get the insights of how users interact with your Android app. This will help you to improve Android app and make it more better. So that's it for today. If you get value out of this video, make sure you hit the like button and share it with your friend. Have a nice day and bye bye.